In the last video of the construction of the Stratus Gale, uh, we took it out to the field and we did some test flying uh, to see if we needed any nose weight. Um, and right now we only needed a little bit of tip weight on the wing. Um, so this step I can go ahead and glue the nose cone on. And I'm just going to use some super glue. You can use thick or thin or medium on this. I'm just going to use some thin. And then just put it onto the red coupler like that and put it on hard. And that should kick off nicely. While we're waiting for that, I want to take the short piece of Kevlar. Um, this is going to be glued across the gaps of this cutout like that on both sides. And this is what the string uh, goes across. But I need to make this stiff, so I'm going to take some thin CA glue and I'm just going to put a drop on there and just let it wick down and stiffen up. And I want to get it nice and straight. It's a little sticky right now. And then do the other side. And you see I have a piece of plastic down because it can get kind of splattery. All right, so that's good. Um, now, I want to cut two pieces. And I want the pieces to span across the gap, probably about a half inch on either side. Okay, so I'm going to cut it right here with an X-Acto knife. That's why I got my glasses still here. There's one piece. There's two. Okay. I'm going to take some medium thick glue here. And I have to wait for it to get down to the bottom. And what I'm going to do is to put about a half inch bead of glue. Okay, come on. Running out of glue. <laughs> Running out of glue. Oh, it's clogged. Ah. Well, I'll use thin. So I'm going to glue it across the span like that. And now the, the, <clears throat> the part that goes along the part that goes along the nose cone, I'm going to just take it and bend it down slightly. So it's kind of got a little dog leg to it so that it goes across that span nicely. I'm going to take my plastic and push it down tight. Okay, there's one side, and then I should be wearing my glasses. You should have told me. And put a drop of glue on the other side. And I'm going to hit it with the kicker. I call it kicker, but it's called Instaset. Makes it harden almost instantly. I'm going to do the same with the other side. I'm going to take the piece of Kevlar and just put a dog leg in it. That's going to go over like that. This piece I hold down with the plastic because it's it's not flat. And I'm putting a little bit of a fillet on there too because I don't want these to move around on me. Oh, it just moves down to my nose cone. Alright. Ok. 
Okay, now I'm going to take the clay off the tip of the wing because we're going to um, paint this in the next step. And I'm not even going to show you how to paint it because you should be able to do that by now. This is a skill level for a rocket. And I'm just going to use some fluorescent orange for mine. Um, I like to be able to see my own rocket, but you can paint it any color you want. And I'm not going to do anything else to the wood, just to paint it. And then once the paint's dry, just to lightly sand it um, using a Scotch-Brite pad, one of those green plastic pads. Um, that, that stuff works really good for the fluorescent paint. Uh, <clears throat> but for now, um, I need some way to hold this, and that's why I got this extra tube. And this tube we got a kind of a crushed, so it's not good for a rocket. But I'm going to take it and push it over the nose cone like that. Get some masking tape. And I had some around here. Um, I see it over there, right behind the camera. So I'm going to just go get that real quick. Okay, I got my tape. I'm just going to tape this tube on. And this is just going to allow me to hold the rocket while I'm painting it. I'm not going to paint the nose cone because the nose cone is, is really smooth already. And fluorescent paint doesn't look good over blue. And I always take my tape and I always fold it back on itself so that when I come to take it off, I can peel it off easily. Just like that. Okay, and just push it down hard. <clears throat> and now I'm ready to paint. <clears throat> so I'll take this outside and I'll paint it. Um, and I'll do it in two steps. The first step, I'll do it with the wing forward and I'll paint the tail. And then once that's dry, then I'll slide the wing back so that I can get underneath the slide box to paint the, bo the boom. And then I'll paint the front half um, of, of the glider. So in the next step, we'll have it painted. Um, and then I'll show you how to prep it for launch. And then, uh, then we'll, the final video will be a, a launch video.